all right all right hello beautiful souls welcome to angie blog or your summer matter podcast wherever you get to listen to this message i was literally not planning to do this so if you hear background noise that is my dishwasher <laughs> and i'm also um yeah it usually happens when i'm like after meditation or i'm doing prayers or when i'm cleaning or doing dishes and stuff like that that like literally holy spirit comes in and sometimes you know or baba bear and he does have a message for a lot of you uh, community and i still i didn't believe it at first so that's why i was like um going through meditation and especially during this time uh, this is a new moon in pisces so this is a specific message so time is message which also will be not only on the podcast you serve on a podcast thank you so much guys for supporting your serve on a podcast okay i love you guys uh, that community is just like it's and it's so beautiful i i just love it thank you so much for your shares and your um beautiful uh, email confirmations and uh and yeah supporting us on um spotify is really cool and then the other podcast as well thank you so much guys i don't see i only see spotify the analytics i don't see the other one so it's really cool where i it's kind of like i dive into something of the unknown and i have no idea what will happen and then now it's just like spreading like growing it's like a seed that i planted uh five years or seven years ago and and the same thing if you look at writersup.com you go down the website you click where it says co2 carbon emission like and then you see like all these trees and how and then i get emails from the people who are taking care of these trees which is really cool that and it happens every month where um, i take a portion of my income or any of the income of you know and then i plant trees and i know it's not the solution it's not but not only am i only be able to now plant trees but thank you so much guys for your donations your support your interaction in the website as well because that also creates a ripple effect where i'm able to take that energy that you give us with your support and love and i can give it to others who really need it so i if you look at the gift back organizations these are the organizations that we constantly support as well with anything with content with anything that we do writing anything so that's what i'm saying that whatever you give it just keeps moving forward so at least in this energy here if you're here you are in that high vibrational energy or higher consciousness of law of attraction and building equity within yourself and also helping us build equity for the world for everyone and this is why this message is so important and it might not resonate with everybody it might resonate with you in the future if you're not in this vibration yet but that's okay if you want to be in this vibration and healing and higher consciousness, uh, eradicating white supremacy, racism, all that low vibrational shit that that's what's literally ripping off and this is why these gentles and demonic entities are literally attacking people who are of the light. And this is something that has been happening. I know a lot of you just getting the gist of it now because now they're really going at it. Now they're really like it hasn't in the past it was hidden. It was like with crypto um like Uh, fucking up with the algorithm, shadow banning you on social media. Um most of us uh, at least those who are activists, this is not new for us, right? But what I'm going to tell you, I warned this. I he showed me a video that I posted on social media once. I don't know if it was last year or the year before that where I talk about this that I said I confirm it to a lot of activists where these people who work for YouTube, social uh Instagram, Facebook, all these fucking apps, TikTok or whatever, they have employees right now being paid okay and now i'm keeping your porn hub i don't know what the hell that is and i kept hearing it today and i was like what the hell is a porn hub what is that i don't know if this like a, a site i know the only thing i heard about this is that it's something to do with montreal which is the location that i'm at and it doesn't mean you know it's just a channel message it could be anything but i don't know if this is a site where it's all around the world but apparently this specific site has a specific employees on youtube that they're paying right now um for i don't know there's something to do about uh sex okay porn sex multiple sex partner polygamy uh swindlers and stuff like that so these people harn they have succubus and incubus um energies where they use these energy to harness 
uh, not only their own energy supply, but also they manifest with these people at the same time money. So it's dirty money, basically. Also, they use these porn sites. These sites are kind of like energy harvesters. So basically, whoever watches these porn sites, they're threatened by this because now um, if you're a seer, a content creator um, uh, who speaks the truth, you're an activist, you're talking about climate change, all these things, these companies, and it's not just Pornhub, it's other companies, but he's just specifically saying Pornhub and maybe other porn sites, take it how it resonates. But he keeps saying about that whoever has that prediction about and it goes back into like that sexual rank that this Einstein 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 I don't know his name I don't know he he killed himself in prison or something like that but some people are thinking like I don't think that's true I hey I don't know we'll have to tap into the car to see what this motherfucker is but he started this with all these like you know you know all these uh, worshippers of uh, <laughs> Trump yeah him too he's involved with that we all know this. We all know all these uh, little daddy, little society cult and stuff like that. That's what's going on. They're being exposed and they don't like it. Especially people like us who don't give a fuck. We don't operate in fear. We have God within us and we believe in God. And when we are connected to God and he protects us at all costs and he tells you, I need you to do this. I need you to speak the truth. I need your voice to speak justice, truth, and clarity to certain situation, you got to do it. Well, you don't think that if I don't do this, I <laughs> I pay for it very greatly. So I have to be obedient. So I don't care who doesn't like this message or who cares, who likes it. I don't give a shit. I need to do this. And yes, I'm exposing the YouTube little uh, cult behind the scenes. Yeah. Those... Uh, Psychic readers, tower readers, clamboyants, uh, people who have large following and right now you're experiencing what all the people who have small subscribers, small views have been dealing for the past five, seven years and we haven't been able to evolve yet because these people, because we have been speaking about the truth nonstop. You on the other hand have the better side because you have created content where it's how do I say this? Is applicable for the audience? They want to hear that and especially, you know, but not all the time. Sometimes you have overcome this stuff as well and you have evolved and you have be able to overcome this. Like, I don't know, maybe they have missed you, the people, the employees on YouTube or you're not on their list. But now because they see but now he's saying because of this Pornhub, there's a lot Pornhub and other sites, other corporations, other people who benefit from other people watching on a constant basis it's something about a membership i don't know he's a membership or like they they are constant viewers or something like that for these companies or something like that and then all of a sudden these people stop watching these people unsubscribe these people don't want to receive emails they don't want to do this they want to so these people there's a lot because if they are literally targeting now people they're going back and looking like it's like like let's say some of you are like purging like and then you're already purged and then these people are purging now and now they're seeing like wait but now we're losing money we're losing revenue and now we're being exposed like that too a lot of psychic readers and tower readers please understand your psychic abilities are ascending right so meaning you are now picking up their bullshit from these apps the people who work for these apps that you use to you know expose uh, other situations truth clarity and justice and it's not all of them he's saying it's not all of them but there's some that they need to get fired that's just what it is because they're succubus incubus who get paid by other companies they're betraying youtube and other companies and working for other companies to jeopardize other um youtube content creators okay and i know that a lot of people even profit is like oh i'm not a content creator i'm just here i understand but you are a content creator when you upload that video and you put it out there you automatically are a content creator understand if you're someone who creates content on a ba constant basis every day or maybe once a week or twice a week or three, it doesn't matter you are a content creator okay so i know profit is and <laughs> People of God, I understand that you don't want to be called that, but you are that. And God needs you to understand that content creator, that is your mission here. It's not just being there for the community, a prophet is, or if you're a writer, a creative, or an artist, or something like that, like you're working for God, you're doing this mission, but he's asking you to create a, a, a platform. Yeah, this is who I'm talking to. 
you already created this platform right and he's talking to two uh different people okay so it could be the content creator where you're just starting you're being nudged to do it do it it's gonna be rocky effort especially if you're talking about injustices um you pick up a lot of things you're you're a seer right if you're a seer a profited and you're picking up a lot of that especially in your community you are there for a reason you're meant to raise the vibration of that specific location that's why you're there you're meant to be there and create and whatever all the tools you already have it so use what you have right now i'm telling you when i didn't have nothing and i just had a phone and a little microphone and some little title cards i just started and not even i didn't have tarot card when i started i didn't have a fucking website i just start writing i just start that's it because you have to start somewhere and then grow from there okay consistency is different for everybody i talk about that if you go to the beginning of this you're starting out a podcast and if you go to the beginning of this youtube channel and you blog you will see it's not what it is now and that's okay you're not meant to be perfect when god doesn't want you to be perfect he wants you to just follow your instinct follow your gut your intuition especially when you are really disciplined with your spiritual discipline especially you're working on this and even if it's flunky and sometimes you fail sometimes you know and then you go back up again and you get up again it's beautiful that is a human experience you're a spirit here having a human experience okay so 1122 okay so this is a universe number okay so <sighs> Sorry guys, it's uh, it's a lot of channels at the same time. So okay, let me have a sip of coffee. All right. Okay, so yeah, sorry I'm talking too fast. I'm just trying to pick up whatever he's saying and then say it. And then I have a couple. Um, I took out some um, oracle cards. I took out the what's the energy? You know the oracle message. Okay, so I see Michael. Yeah, so some of you are very protected on this, but some of you, you have spoken about this. I don't know, you maybe you wrote it down somewhere, you put it in your community or on YouTube, or you talk about it on your Facebook or something. Keep talking about it. It's pissing them off, and that's the whole point. You are the light to, tri to trigger these dark entities. You need to reveal this. That's your job. So now that's why these companies are threatened and paying these succubus incubus that they already use to lower your views your content so people don't see it especially if you're talking about their shit yes okay now if you're someone who is like you know helping people with relationship dating or something like that and you're helping them to build better relationship not have multiple sex partners you want people to heal you know to have that divine partner that they're meant to be with here and this is why the enemy is attacking this is your mission follow that go through that because and not only that eventually like while you're loving yourself you're you know you're happy being single you are that's just for people who are single i'm not saying like let's say for those who are in a committed relationship but it's really healthy and it's really good and you both have a mission also to speak about this to talk about your relationship please do okay because your relationship it's meant to be the the center stage like the the the, the blueprint for other relationships to also um you know be inspired be guided so your guys are kind of like a guide okay so if god is telling you to do this please do okay no matter what no matter who I should, because I know some of you is like, oh, but I pose and I do and nothing is happening, nothing is going on and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Whoever is meant to see it, it's meant to see it. And don't worry, at first, yes, it's going to be like that. And it's going to be rocky. It's going to be down and it's going to be up and it's going to be down. Like if you look at my YouTube channel, you will see that certain videos are completely no, like there's like four views and it's all about, let's say, climate change, okay? Uh, others is about um, you know truth is posting the truth and lies and stuff like that the corrupt systems uh, you know when I talk about equity and stuff like that they lower the content because it doesn't benefit those motherfuckers that we are exposing right so they're threatened by this also they know their curse they know that they're gonna lose it all so they're trying right now they're going even deeper like spell work and all that fucking bullshit and witchcraft and now when that doesn't work they're now targeting people who work in these apps in these companies and because these people are in low vibration and you know they do anything for money right these people are now are being paid by certain companies that i just mentioned and he just keeps saying porn hub this company has done something illegal as well okay 
the one of the things they legal and I think all companies do this and they think it's okay but it's not but also it's because they put like a you know that thing that they ask you you sign a liability or something that they tell you oh you agree with this but you don't really read the whole thing because it's so fucking long and you just agree with it oh the cookies yeah you know when they ask you for the cookies like oh we got cookies and stuff like that and then it's so long and you just like press yes because you don't have time to read it in that in that it says it that they're allowed to look into your ipp address look into what you watch who you uh, subscribe to who you follow and who is um like they can see it that's basically it so these specific people in this palm form have targeted have um they have a specific people who watch this stuff okay who view this stuff it could be younger generation as well okay that's what he's saying they are threatened by this because it's a lot of generation younger generation and maybe middle ages generation that have unsubscribed they are no longer watching any of these porn sites, okay? Now, they're concerned, right? Because their money's going down, their thing is going down. The same thing with the Netflix, okay? They're doing it, they're fucking up. Netflix is fucking up, and they know it. They should have never done that. Now they're gonna lose more money now. And they think that this is smart. Oh, if one person has one account. No, you fucked up. You fucked up, and watch. And that's why guys say, like, watch. Nobody's gonna watch Netflix now. It's all about the other account. It's just what it is, because I don't know who gave the Netflix that advice, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, same thing with this. Who gave these people that advice, and then they pay them to do this, okay? So, yes, they're going to get really mad. Whoever is listening, and YouTube, all your story about a podcast, yes, you're, yes, yes, we know. I pick it up. It's an energy. And I don't know if this porn hub, I'm not going to look it up because I don't give a fuck about that, but I have a feeling that it might be in my city, but for whoever is listening, it might be in your city too. You're meant to expose these motherfuckers. That's why they're mad, they're upset, and that's why they lower your content. Now, they're targeting large subscribers now. Now, after seven years, they're targeting a large subscriber. You know what I know why? Because they missed the spot. <laughs> they were too focused on the little guys and what were they doing and who they were following. Let me shadow bind them and stuff like that. And they missed you, but it's for a purpose, okay? Please, tarot readers, psychic readers, clown for yans, okay? Prophetess, you are meant to keep going okay do you understand me yes this little person here because i know i don't have a lot of people you know but i have a few and i know that my people are gonna come forward and they're gonna go and share and put it out there they're gonna talk about it because i know that this intuitively it's racing right literally you feel it right that's why i need you to please continue share it like comment do whatever you can with this because it needs to be out there and they're gonna try but guess what the numbers of us who are of light, who fight for true justice and clarity, who are children of God, you're gonna come through. I know this for a fact. And I don't care if you even like, if you need to like, you know, say it a different version of myself, I don't care. Do what you gotta do to expose these motherfuckers. That's it, okay? Because they are scared. That's what they're doing this stuff. Well, too bad. It's already gonna come out. It already has. You, most of you, you know, you psychic intuitively know, but you're scared, right? You're scared to put it out there. God is saying, do not be scared. Use your sword of truth that is within you. You have the spirits of truth. And I'm telling you, the more you nurture it, the more you put it out there, the more it's gonna heighten and heighten and heighten. That's what they're trying to make you asleep. Okay, remember that's what they're trying to get you tired, trying to get you stagnant, they're trying to get you sabotage, they're trying to get you to do, do all these things. You understand? Learn to read the energies, and you can work with it too. You know, hey, a little rest and a little sleep that doesn't hurt anybody, right? But don't stay there. That's what I'm trying to say. Use what they think that they're using to to jeopardize you, transmute that energy and alchemize it, and turn it into something fucking beautiful. Turn into a paint, turn into a fucking flyer, turn into a fucking climate activism fucking, you know, rage and shit. Okay, okay, not rage, control your rage. But still, put it out there. Go fight for indigenous communities right now with fucking fossil fuels. Do what you gotta do. Do you understand? No fear. That's it. 
on you. All right. There's a cycle ending. Something about the world came out in the patience. God is saying patience is uh, 14. This is 10%. This is earth angel energy. Earth angels, you need to know this. There is a cycle breaking. You are expanding. You're growing. The cycle that you broke is huge. Do you understand me? That healing that you did that nobody knows about, that you did it in the background, that you did it within yourself, is fucking gigantic. Okay? And they are scared of you. Okay? So continue what you're doing. Don't be scared. These demons and stuff like that, they're scared of you. You're not scared of them. They're scared of you. Okay? So get it together. Give yourself some love, some self-love, some self-care. Put good positive thoughts in your mind and keep going. Okay? Because this is just getting started. This is what he keeps saying. This is just starting. You understand? Now, there's a community. Again, community came out in deceit, okay? You guys are very loving, very caring, but you, you tend to be very indecisive, okay? So right now, Michael is saying he's helping. You're a healer of the ages here, okay? Yeah, you're the magician. You are visionary. He keeps saying visionary. Okay, those who are visionary, you consider yourself visionary, and you're very creative, keep going. God is using your gifts and talents to expose these motherfuckers. You understand? Not only expose them, but also give you that stability. That also, um, it, it, he's saying breaking generation, uh, financial generational curses as well. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Take that sword and cut it off. Cut anything that doesn't serve you. Cut anybody that is trying to jeopardize your mission and goal. And let's go. We don't have time. Actually, we have plenty of time. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, the new earth is here already, but it's up to us. But we can't access that new earth already because we have to heal. And those who are in the healing journey, who got off of these sites, of these things, and, and now they're, I don't know, you're just different. And the whole industry, it's a whole community that ignores it. Yeah, there's a huge tower moment. Look, storm warming, 10. Yeah, there's completion. Again, the world and the storm warming. Yeah, you're an earth angel. You have a lot of love. Put that love out there. Yeah, that's your journey. Look. In your journey, they're trying to create financial constraint. I've been feeling this for the past seven years. So I already know this and God confirms it with me. And I know this. I see it. I see it everywhere. Like it doesn't make sense. Like some of you are looking into like your YouTube uh, earning and you see that the watch hours keep going down instead of going up. Like you keep creating and it's still going down. You keep creating also now like the reels. Like now what they're doing is like they're creating more watch hours than your reels, but they're removing the watch hours where it actually matters, right? At least for those who are still not getting paid for what we do, okay? Because we don't. At least those of us who have been doing this stuff before, true clarity and justice, and we don't give a fuck about the fucking box that we're trying to be here and we don't want to be oppressed anymore. We want to be liberated. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. You know that even on social media, you're shadow banned, your company is shadow banned, you haven't seen money for years in your company. Let's say you launch a new business or something like that and nothing has worked nothing has been fruitful it's them it's not you it's them they are threatened by you especially if your business can be a vision where people can see that they can build equity li liberate their souls heal okay create a better world no competition no comparison uh no fucking low vibrational energy, no porn, no none of that addiction shit, or at least on moderation, you're a threat to the system. So I need to warn you that this is if this is your vision missionary and this is your just like I am, welcome. This is just the starting of that, okay? I'm literally like in between. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm here to teach those who are starting and those who are already ahead. Because I'm literally have people here who are way above my spiritual, you know? And they come and listen here. They come to remember who they were in the past so that they can continue moving forward. And I'm grateful. Thank you so much for, for coming here. I appreciate it. Especially also, I have other teachers and life seers, light workers, and providers who come here for uh, guidance or messages i'm grateful that you um 
trust me with that okay so i'll do my best sorry about the swearing i'm very uh, passionate about what i do but i know that i have to work on my swearing but it's just that my throat chakra is like i don't know if you guys have been feeling these ascension symptoms where your throat is really itchy you're feeling i mean i'm not a medical you know what i'm saying but i know that these are symptoms where i've experienced it before that it's coming back again this year and it's a bit more painful uh, a little bit this time but i'm trying to continue doing what i gotta do because it's what it is i'm a single mom and i can't i don't have that luxury right or privilege like other people do but if you do and you don't have that responsibility of raising a human being please understand that you are ahead for a reason and i need you to continue being ahead for a reason why because as someone who cannot create as much content as i cannot do as much because i do have to raise two children on my own i need you to continue going because your work is going to help my kids when i can come in do you understand so it's all we all help each other as a circular economy okay so whenever you see any of your uh, soul tribe okay because a lot of you you're going to meet your soul tribe that's what they're trying to break they're trying to separate you guys but you are going to be with your soul tribe you're going to support each other you're going to work with each other you're going to unite and that's what they're scared of but it's coming it's going to happen no matter what okay in the meantime those who cannot meet those situations you come in to help out okay so please do whenever your intuition tells you to do something especially if you're a musician i'm hearing musician if you have a song or or um i don't know if someone is an artist here or creative and usually that's the energy that i uh, attract i'm a conscious creator so i attract those uh people and also light workers so if you are and you don't have the responsibility of raising a child either with a person or if you whatever situation you're going through whatever your personal life is and you have the time you know instead of like wasting your time with like you know, there's nothing wrong with video games and having a little, you know, entertainments now and then. But if we all have 24 hours, okay? And if you have a little extra than most of us and you could be doing something better for the world, for yourself, for others, please do, okay? Your energy, your beautiful love and and, and what you're meant to be doing here, especially if you, you are one of those people who let go of that porn hub, they are unsubscribe and stuff like that, please do, okay? use that sexual energy and harness it and alchemize it in another spaces you can create a podcast you can create a new song album a painting uh, a blog write uh, uh, join communities uh, be an activist like i know all those things are are not mutually exclusive you can have all those things it's just that some of us want to do all this stuff right so and that's how i started and i'm telling you right now it's very exhausting okay do one of those one at a time okay so that way you don't get to this point where i'm at where i have so many things i love doing them though hey i became an expert on it but i should have you know started with one and then continue you know what i'm saying but i did all of them so now anybody who says oh you can't multi times you can't do so many things at the same time that's fucking bullshit okay do it if god gives you the will he fills up your cup he gives you all that water well jesus christ water well that he talks about all the time because he's all love and mercy merciful and compassionate and he loves you and you're doing good for the world the planet and everything and you're getting this literally divine freaking everything for you please don't waste it thank you okay <sighs> okay so the last part because i didn't want to make this too but yes someone is trying because you're very strong uh some of your earth angels okay earth angels are being targeted by these communities this company i talk about this so i will put it in the description below here either on the podcast or on the youtube channel where you hear this i will put the videos where i talk about this many times he's showing me which one so i'll put it either in the comment in the pinned comment or i put it in the description okay but it's something about your journey you're very loving like these people are going to create they're creating tower they're cursing themselves okay but this is specifically for those who have noticed this situations and also in your following and in your instagram you're seeing that there's less views that the following is just up and down that you should like some of you you should have been like literally like like far away already but you're not right yeah this is it it's them okay they're threatened by you and they make people believe that you're that you're not some of you are literally building your strength and rejuvenating right now resting because the abundance is coming the universe is preparing you for all the shit that these people remove from you it's coming back 10 times full 
yeah, there's victory. Your ancestors, your angels are very happy with you, whoever you are. Okay, your third, your crown chakra is lit. By the way, Metatron is trying to give you guys a message. He wrote it down. Yeah. So this is basically, I'm reading something from um, the channel message that I got. It's from the sixth chakra. So sixth chakra is your third eye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Metatron. Yeah, he, Metatron is in charge of that. He wrote everything. So what I'm telling you is what has already been, it already happened. Okay. So these people... The legal thing that they have done is that they look at the people who have unsubscribed, um, on uh, unfollow. They're not doing all these shit anymore. And this could also be people who, let's say, a dating. He said dating apps. So anybody who has been in dating apps, dating multi it could, Tinder, uh, okay, Bumble. Okay, so Tinder, Bumble, they are doing illegal stuff. So basically those who used to date a lot, have multiple sex partners and are subscribed to these things, you pay for it and then you recently unpaid and recently got out and they're losing money. All of these companies, they're looking into all the people who are unsubscribed. Who, like what was your inspiration? What was your motivation to, to do this? So let's say you follow someone on YouTube, you follow someone on Instagram, you follow someone on Facebook, okay? They're, they're seeing your views, who you watch recently, who you say, what you save. So if you save a video, if you save a podcast, if you share a podcast, you share a video, you share the truth, okay? You saved it. You save it for yourself, blah, blah, blah. Now they are looking at those who give you that information and they're targeting you and them. They're affecting your finances so, or they're affecting, they're doing some stuff with your love life so that you go back into the app. So that you go back and they also, they're putting addiction stuff so that you go back into the porn hub. Do you see how these people operate? They're fucking disgusting. Do you understand me? Now, my psychic readers, YouTube, if you have a large following, uh, large subscribers, okay? Recently, this is what the YouTube uh, employees are doing. Not everybody. You say not everybody, but this YouTube company needs to look into their fucking employees, okay? Uh, especially their computers and stuff like that. But anyways, God said that someone's going to figure it out or they already have. This is going to be exposed. So if you are those people who work on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook and you're being doing this, I think you should prepare yourself to look for other jobs and you should fucking heal yourself and may God have mercy on your fucking soul. Do you understand me? Sorry, this gets me so angry because nothing is worth betraying and jeopardizing someone for money. Nothing. Okay? Some of these people, he's saying that they're suffering from health problems now because of that. Yeah, see, nothing will come of this situation. The moon car, the new moon in Pisces says that. Nothing will come of this situation. And they didn't listen to the intuition. And they still do this. So, yes, he's saying I'm one of those people on the list. There, I have a lot of people who save my content. I have a lot of people who listen, who have, who are healing, who are in that tree of souls already. Okay? That they, they are saved. Right? And they're fighting now with God, right? Because this is spiritual warfare. This is not of the flesh. This is and now they're letting go of surrendering and letting God. God is fighting battles for these people, me and others. But what are he saying right now? Surrender and stay still. Okay? Your warrior. That's your mission here. Yeah, your dreams need practical Need a practical plan. Yeah. Some of you, you need to plan these things out or this person need to, these people need to plan something out because they're going to be fucked. Yeah. Some people from Bumble and Tender, he says, like they're disgusting. Wow. All this of you, banks, he's saying banks. So let's say banks, you no longer with this banks and you went to another bank or something like that. They're doing that too. Yeah. It's just petty. These people are petty. Yeah, he said that you hold, you have everything you need, but you're overthinking. Okay, these people, they, yeah, they sold their soul for money. Okay, some of you, your heart, something about your heart. Yeah, some of you need to heal your heart. Okay, because there's something that you're meant to manifest through the heart. It could be maybe break that financial generational curse. Or because you know what they said, like whatever you see is what you have in your heart, right? So a lot of you is like you want to take away all those images and stuff like that. Like all the shame and guilt 
like you know there's nothing wrong with like you know looking things for pleasure or something like that but there's other ways healthier ways you know and a lot of you are understanding this and this is what's pissing them off also these apps these dating apps they can't stand the fact that you are literally naturally consciously and organically not using these and they're mad okay because they rely on that right they rely on you being addictive they rely on you being and all these companies rely on that same thing with the fossil fuel companies like if you're talking about this they rely on you not you understand so a lot of you because you decided to break the generational curse that they want to keep you in and bound and, and and stuck this is why it's happening but there what he's saying is that do not have fear because yeah a lot of you are in that queen of swords energy wow yeah, these people partying, celebrating. Some of you, yeah, you're gonna be partying, celebrating. This is good news. For a lot of you, it's like you were going out of your mind, right? You were like, oh my god, you were having all this anxiety, all this uh, situation. There's always like um, random financial things or random bills or random fees or something. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Like you don't understand. Like, yeah, <laughs> these people are disgusting. But the thing is, what he's saying is that you barely getting the gist of it. He's saying you're not really you're you're just get like he's letting you feel a bit of what they're doing behind the scenes so that you are aware because you know what god reveals to redeem right so that needed to be redeemed that needed to be exposed so that you can do something about it but also that it's fair it's balanced because it was unbalanced that situation that the system is trying to do and also oppressing people through their fucking personal activities that they do on their personal fucking life Woo! that's like a spiritual yeah that's violation of a spiritual not only spiritual physical too someone's going to jail a lot of people are going to jail yeah, and a lot of you are expanding. You're going to continue growing. So continue doing what you're doing. This is something that you're, it will be a testimony. You're going to talk about this. It's just what it is. Okay? So continue doing what you're doing. All these people are going to be exposed. And that's what he said to continue being that earth warrior that you are. Okay? Anything else, spirit? Yeah, just be aware of the deceit. Okay? So I'm going to do a card from the angels. Let me see what they want to let you know. And then we're going to close this. If you believe dropped out yeah in recovery exactly so you have to believe in this recovery so a lot of you are going through the withdrawals right you're getting that like when you're letting go of an addiction there's always like that like you know trying to go back and forth so he's saying like it's okay he's there helping you out okay and a lot of you he's also saying that um be careful with therapists you access um help with like you know test your spirit because usually these therapists who are very atheist um very like they're not spiritual i would if especially if you're a highly sensitive person and you're connected to god and you get it to i honestly for my therapist i waited i just pray for it did uh, a fasting and uh, i just asked him like i need help but i don't you know and he knew already he keep telling me that maybe we should look for help and stuff like that especially when i just caught everybody off right and that period of you know loneliness and stuff like that is very difficult especially if you know you're learning about self-love and self-care you didn't know about that so i i asked you know and then he showed me the way of where can i access this where can i find this person and this person ended up actually finding me okay i posted about this a, a long time ago it's called let me see what it's called it's a website uh sorry it's an app where yeah it's called better help i'm not promoting this is not something that i'm getting money or something it's just it did help it's called better help and the questions that they ask you are very specific which actually helps you find the right therapist for you okay so make sure that you're doing that okay and also i don't know i recommend honestly to have someone who believes in god that's it and if they have an issue like let's say you ask them do you believe in god do you believe in you know not om omnipresence i or so are they alpha and the omega do you believe in that and if they hesitate or they tell you mm, i'm not really religious it's not about religion it had never been and if they don't answer that with an honest conscious uh, you know what i'm saying and then they just change the subject or or try to you know try to avoid the question i would suggest that will be your last session okay i'm just saying so try to find someone who actually has a heart as well because some people um in the medical field they do things for money they don't do it for the heart so you have to watch out for that okay so that's what he's saying now you have to believe in the recovery you have to believe that you have faith your angels are saying that you literally yeah yeah you're ready yeah 
if you believe recovery, you're ready. Some of you are ready. You're ready to take this mission. Yeah, it says communicate clearly. Wow. If you believe and your recovery is going to happen. If you believe that you cannot do it, then it's going to... Do you understand? It's whatever you put in your mind, okay? Literally, your angels are saying you're ready. Communicate clearly, okay? Especially about this deceit. You guys have to expose this. If you're experiencing this, because I've been quiet, I don't know for how... How long have I been dealing with this? I think it's been... Yeah, it's, it has been since I started... So three, four years now um, that I've been experiencing this. And also on social media. The same thing with Writers Yep and their account. And also on your Ceramato Podcast Day account as well. So... And I'm still going. <laughs> I'm just... I was guided to talk about this because I haven't been able to talk about it because I didn't feel comfortable. But today he's like, you have to talk about this because you're not the only one experiencing this. So let me know in the comments. Let me know. Send me an email or anything if you're experiencing this okay let's help each other let's support each other okay we are in this together we're not separated okay and these people will get we are going to get justice that's basically it we will get justice for this and if you have been experiencing this for the past five seven years better believe it that this is going to be triple what they have taken from you either finances either energy either um uh, they have literally harnessed your energy and make money of you, of your prophecy. If they have done tower reading, tarot cards to know your mission, to try to get into your Akashic records and stuff like that, or try because they know that you're in a low vibration. And now because you're in a high vibration, they're threatened because none of their shit that they have done to you to keep you asleep, it's not working. <laughs> they will regret it for the rest of their life, this lifetime and the next for whatever they have done to you understand me and that's what i got for you my beautiful people i hope this helped i hope this brings you clarity i love you make sure you stay safe continue doing your what you're doing okay because if you didn't have any haters that means you're not doing something right right so if you have billionaires and people of low vibration filthy motherfuckers that are threatened by you oof you're doing something right boo continue okay don't stop okay keep going and keep those prayers up okay because right now <laughs> the fight just started okay just continue okay i love you and make sure you're kind to you to your planet and to others okay i'll see you next time bye